Hey everybody, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time and discuss the abstract um, for the post lab. And so in this case, um, the abstract I will say is, um, no matter what lab you're working on, um, is a summary of what you have done. Okay, for some reason people get the analysis and abstract confused. I will tell you, in my experience, if your analysis and abstract are about the same length, you either A, don't know how to write an analysis, or B, don't know how to write an abstract. Um, and so that's, um, and that's the kind of the, the truth there. Um, <laughs> so let me show you exactly what an abstract is, okay? An abstract. An abstract should be... Um, I always give the general idea, now it can change, but I always say that it should be somewhere around six sentences, okay? So those six sentences are like pure gold. You want to tell everybody exactly what you did in the lab in six, sen in six sentences, um, just one paragraph, um, and you want to tell them not only what you did, but what results you got and what conclusions you made. So you want to start off by saying the purpose and then kind of ha like how it was done in the lab like uh, what what in general what kind of um, what kind of uh, procedures you use you don't want to go step by step through your procedure Okay, and then you want to talk about some data, uh, yield, and then some sort of conclusion about how you did. Okay, so kind of the easiest thing that I say is that when we go through a lab, oops, that was funny. Okay, when we go through a lab and we look at all the parts to a lab, okay, all of these individual parts are like chapters, okay? Some chapters are longer than others, some are more important than others. The, up until we get to the analysis, okay, we have a chapter for general procedure, CHP, down to flow sheet, okay, all of these things. The abstract is different because what that is, is that's the blurb on the back of the book or the front of the book. This tells us everything that we need to know about the lab in just a few sentences. And if you are writing pages and pages on your abstract, then you're just rewriting the book. And you, an abstract should never rewrite the book. The abstract should just summarize the book. So you want to make sure that your abstract is short, sweet, and to the point, okay? Uh, bear with me, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So, um, I got my master's degree uh, from Baylor University, and they have very stringent requirements about what you need to do in order to graduate, and one of them is a thesis, and since they have stringent requirements for graduation, they also have very strict requirements for what your thesis needs to look like. One of the things that um, the thesis needed to have was an abstract and so that abstract that I had to write could be no more than 150 words. I worked four years at Baylor University uh, doing organic chemistry so that I could summarize my whole career there in 150 words. So, so I always tell students that if I can summarize four years in 150 words you can you can definitely um, summarize a lab, whether it's two weeks or three weeks or whatever. You can definitely do that in six sentences. Okay, now if it's seven sentences, it's fine. I'm not going to kill you. If it's, you know, three or four sentences, that's fine. But you just need to make sure that you have this stuff in it and that you're not just rewriting your lab. Okay, I see all the time that students, they take like their analysis and then they just like remove a couple of sentences and they call it their abstract that drives me nuts that's not the point the point is is you're taking 
parts of the lab, like this is your procedure, this is from your general procedure, this is from your experimental procedure, this is from your data table, this is from, and this is from your analysis. So you're taking from all the different parts of your lab and you're putting it in the abstract as what you're doing. Okay, so just make sure that you, that all of that's there. Okay, that's going to give you the best abstract. Okay, so I hope that clears up what an abstract is, and um, have a great day.